Hey guys, I had a quick chat with Brian this morning while he is in California doing the Disney thing. And uh, we thought it'd be fun just to put a little brief uh, chunk of audio up on the feed today. So we hope you enjoy it. Now, a warning, it's got horrible audio. Um, he's on his uh, earbuds and uh, he's wearing a mask and he's in the middle of Disneyland and World and, or not World, uh, where is it over there? The Avengers World Land thing. And it's really loud. So there are parts of this that are borderline unintelligible, but you know, whatever. It's still a chance to hang out and talk. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll probably do this tomorrow as well. Excellent. All right. Yeah. You're you bringing in... me through uh, AirPods and a mask. Oh, very nice. Are you in a line somewhere? I am in a cluster of people waiting for the rope to drop to go uh, back to Avengers Land. Oh, okay. All right. So, so you're actually going to hear uh, my reaction to seeing it for the first time ever. Oh, no way. That's cool. I, yeah. I didn't know we were going to get this kind of treatment. This is fantastic. Oh, this is ex- exclusive just for uh, just for listeners of the show. Well, so. um, we're already recording. We may as well just go for this, make this nice and casual. So, yeah. so, so, are you, so are you there with anybody or just you? Oh, just me. Yeah. So, uh, which, uh, is, uh, which is nice because I don't have to talk to anybody about, uh, hey, what do you want to ride next? Oh, okay. Do you feel bathroom? Okay. I'll wait for 20 minutes while you go to the bathroom. Yeah. No kidding. So or it's like shop for clothes or <laughs> it's like uh seven fifty eight or something. Oh, is it open? Yeah, it's about two here. They uh there's an imagineer up there uh getting the crowd riled up. Wow, I can hear they they sound stoked. Yeah, yeah we've gone from uh you know, hey, uh let's do six feet of social distancing to uh, people on rides telling you, no, no, come forward. Use all available space. Fill in all the available space in the ride. Like, oh. oh, okay, we're there yet. We're there now. Okay, wow. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, if you had to guess how many people are there, how many people are there? I'd say, um, oh, geez. I couldn't even, I couldn't even put a number. You know, maybe well, maybe 30,000? I don't know. It's really hard to... Oh, my Lord. You know, she just asked you a question. Well, see, I'm, I'm bad at that because I can't see everywhere in the park. I don't know how busy things are. I know when I showed up yesterday and walked down Main Street, I was looking at saying, wow, this is as busy as it's as I've ever seen it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then once I got to all the individual areas, ride times or wait times were lower than I've ever seen, right? So, like, I could get right on Space Mountain line kept moving i was there we go yeah <laughs> like, uh, how much of that did you get <laughs> uh, i got the part where you said uh the streets were or the l- rides took less time than usual and i was going to ask you uh do you think the lack of fast pass changed how long people have to wait for things or no oh maybe i think i think it's a combination of kids are going back to school out here um, or actually everywhere because that's you know you get a lot of people coming from other parts of the country kind of here, but students are going back to school. Oh, lines oh, is the line moving? You're moving? The line's moving. Ooh, we're moving. We're walking. Um, right, we're walking. Think, we're walking. Uh, <laughs> I think the mask mandates maybe scare a few people off. I uh, you're supposed to wear them indoors, but you don't have to wear them outdoors. Yeah. I've, you know, I've just been wearing them outdoors, and it's not because I'm like. Uh, uh, high, uh, hyper sense and don't worry about that. It's because I'm a lazy and b forgetful. Right. And I've already walked into stores without my mask, and then like an idiot, I put my mask on when I go outside. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear it the whole time. And yeah. I don't have to worry about. It. Yeah. Just have it. if it's on. It's like your shirt. It's just on. Right. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. You're never gonna make that mistake and not having your shirt on. Right. As long as I, you know, I'm not going to be a bro and take my shirt off when I, you know, pump an iron. <laughs> then forget to put it back on before you go in the CVS or whatever. Exactly. All right. Sounds like you're making progress now. I don't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Much. We're actually, we're finally moving and uh, walking by the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, reskin of the Tower of Terror, which yeah. is actually the, the right I'm shooting for getting on right away. As as I'm guessing are everybody that I'm walking with. <laughs> so this Avengers area wasn't. This is relatively new. The area itself, right? Like the. Uh, this used to be Bugs Life. The Bugs Life. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Kim got super sick on that ride once. I figure something. Yeah, you figure the maybe the connection went away. I'm sure that you're. <laughs> I mean, not only you're in a big crowd, but there's so many cell signals and you know whatever. Exactly. You're probably. Yeah. 
hitting some of that stuff. So you're first, so wait, so you're going to try to go on the Tower of Terror first? Is that the goal? Yes. Yeah. The, the former Tower of Terror currently Guardians of the Galaxy uh, mission breakout, which is the reskin. Uh, what I thought was already one of the best rides in the park, now even better with the addition of all the, the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Nice. So, so my question about that ride is, because I have never ridden it, um, are the... Uh, the the interpretations of the characters and stuff are they from the movie or are they more comic book? Like, what do you get there? From the movie, and not just interpretations. Um, uh, you know, Chris Pratt and Dave Bautista, and they saw that and everybody came back and recorded new new video and audio while they were filming Guardians of the Galaxy Two. They filmed the stuff for this ride, and it's actually its own little self-contained story. The collector has uh, uh, captured the team, so and, it's, uh, and that's actually what's his name? That's uh, it is actually a Benicio del Toro, and they have a giant <laughs> Benicio del Toro statue in the front of this class. Does he ever say "I flip you, I flip you"? Does he ever say that? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't. No. Uh, that's a he, shame. He's just as intelligible as he was in uh, Usual Suspects. Just as easy <laughs> to understand. <laughs> All right, nice. So uh, to wrap things up, yesterday you spent a ton of time in the Star Wars thing. Uh, I, I did. Yeah, impressions. Yeah, let me tell you about my day yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so got up at 3.45 a.m., which California time would be 2.45 a.m., because uh, I had to take the train to the airport. I didn't want to pay for parking and I'm a you know, lazy cheap after. Plus, I had a really early flight. And it's really, you know, train-wise, it's an hour and a half from my door to my gate at the airport. I yeah. take the train, and it's about an hour plus if I drive, and I can pay for parking. Right. Um, right by a speaker, so hopefully it doesn't get uh, I think it was, uh, you were, oh, you were talking about how you, you know, just pay for parking, and, and it oh, was... Oh, no, all of that? Oh, yeah, it was okay. pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I'm not recording my own side. I can just send you that. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, pay for parking, flight uneventful, uh, but I pay for Wi Fi so that I can um, uh, shoot for getting tickets to Rise of the Resistance. Because at 7 a.m. and 12 at noon, you, those are the only two options to get tickets for Rise of the Resistance from the Star Wars ride. Sure. If you don't get tickets, you're not going on that ride. Tough luck. Uh, or have something else if I wasn't surrounded by a bunch of children. Sure. <laughs> um, so 7 o'clock goes around, I'm on the plane, I pay for Wi-Fi, refresh, instantly, spots are fucked up. So then, um, I guess I'll try again again. Yeah. So I get to the park, I ride a few rides, and about 11.45, I'm looking at uh, Splash Mountain, and I see that it's got a 45-minute a 40 minute standby time, which means I'm going to be waiting in line for 40 minutes. I'm going to figure, hey, okay, perfect. While I'm waiting in line, I'll refresh, I'll get tickets for Rise of the Resistance. I try to anyway, and uh, let's see what I can do. You back still? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to periodically just make sure. So, uh, but as I mentioned before, lines are moving a lot faster, and uh, wait times are a lot shorter. And as I'm approaching, the front of the line to get on a log plane. I'm seeing that it's like, oh, it's four minutes till. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uh, four minutes till. I'm getting on the ride. Okay, well, maybe this ride is less than four minutes, and after the ride, I can try refreshing. No, sure enough, I'm going on the ride, and 11.59 rolls around to 12, and I'm at the very top of the last drop, the big drop at the end of the ride. Oh man! I hit, I hit refresh just as I'm going down at the long blue the last uh, drop, and that's when he says, "Would you like to join the queue for Rise of the Resistance?" <laughs> so, literally, the photo of me that they give you, that they could give you, they try to sell you at the end of the ride, is me refreshing my phone and hitting join. <laughs> you should have said, can, did you get the photo? You should have done it. I, I did because, you know, it's way, it's way more fun to tell the story. It just looks like some doofus looking at his phone on a ride. That's great. I should, I should have taken a picture of the, of the thing itself. So, so look at, oh, great. All right, I'm going on the ride. It says a 360 minute wait. That's six hours from now. Uh, oh, crap. That's when my family is driving up from uh, Sydney Valley to meet me for dinner in downtown Disney. Mm-hmm. 
It's like, okay, well, let's figure this out. Like, how long, how long after they call my group do I have to get? Oh, there's big uh, gold bronze uh, or bronze uh, Benicio del Toro. Nice. Um, like, how long does my window of opportunity once they call my team member to get to the rest? I have about an hour. Okay, so it's six o'clock. I'm meeting them at five thirty. I can eat, chat with them. And then sprint from downtown Disney back to Gardens of the Galaxy. So, uh, but I don't do that. Of course, I you know, take my time with the family right. and not rush and things like that. They were even asking me, like, what do you need to get your ride? And I said, oh, don't worry about it. And you guys drove up, I'll spend as much time. Well, things wrap up about 7 10 anyway. And I'm looking at the clock and it says, all right, we're now. We're calling, or I guess about 6 30, 6 45, they called my kid. So it's like, hey, this is what I'm going to be able to make it. We wrap up, we're going for lunch or pay for dinner, and I sprint through the park. It's like I had a hunt display like Tony Stark on um, uh, uh, which path to take around people of color. So it was like a Ultron century in here. Just like a dismember, disassembled one. What's that, what's that thing yelling at you? It's like a... Oh, that's uh. That's either a cast member or a. Um, or the, 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 oh my gosh, they're so freaking loud. Anyway. Welcome to Full and All Real Distance. And uh, social distancing is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's an aberration. It'll come back, but not today. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Please wear your mask. <laughs> Please fill in all available space. <laughs> Um, so I sprint and I make it back to, uh, the thing and, and you know, Missoula is saying, yeah, just take a screenshot of your boarding time. And Gary says, don't worry, they're not going to, they're not going to let you ride the ride if you're five years old. Like, so, uh, I make it there and the ride is there. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to be, so, uh, you know, hang out here and just keep checking the app and we'll tell you when it's back up. Oh, we got a good man. After all so that. I go and I build a, yeah, so I go and I build a, a lightsaber. I had that scheduled time to do it, and I keep checking the app and nope, it's down. I get out of the lightsaber area, and it says, uh, uh, the, the app says, okay. Oh, my <laughs> oh Lord, she is so loud. <laughs> this is the pre-recorded... Uh, they are drowning you out hardcore. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and I'm probably going to lose you right here. But uh, long story short, after I got out of the uh, lightsaber thing, I checked the app again. It was available. It, we, it had just become available. So basically, we ran, like four or five of us ran through the the waiting line to get to the ride and make it on there just in time. And just barely got it? Just barely got it because they shut that they shut that ride down at 9. Yeah. Oh, to the rest man. Of the shutting down at 10. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you could you went you went all the way to California, damn it. You're gonna get your place. You're gonna go. Darn right I am. Yeah. Right I am. Well, that's amazing. Um you're about to get on the, the cool drop ride. Don't don't drop your phone. That's the important thing. And uh we'll do this again. I wanna do this again one more time tomorrow. We'll, whoa, that's really loud. Oh yeah, yeah, the my friends. Oh my right. friends? I, I can hear it. Win. My friends, something something. Dooby dooby doo. All right. Hey, that was Brian. Uh we'll check in with them tomorrow. Sorry the audio is so bad, but uh we thought we'd put something up just so you guys get a little, little travel log. What's going on? All right? All right, we'll see you soon.